and one for the cover one for the base if you if you can see the cover is smaller than the base so the next thing to do is to try and glue this to our board okay we'll glue the red board to the white board and to do that we are going to use um, candle gum all right this holds faster than a, a more firm than what you the other gums it's firmer than using uh, the regular kind of uh, glue or gum so i'm going to use this place it on it and then I put pressure so this is ready this is ready now I'm going to create a provision for our ribbon our rope I'm going to make provision for it just the way this one is so to make this insertion, I'll need to know, I'll need to know the needle point. So if I put my rule, this is my center point. So I'm going to just create a mark here. I'll turn it around from the needle point. I'll do the same here. So I have my circle marked on four sides, one, two, three, four, opposite each other. Now, after done doing this, I'm going to place my tape and take half, this is the insertion I made, okay? So I'm going to place my tape on it, half inch, mark this way, from here to here, half. So I have the main uh, mark and then opposite it I have made half half inch okay just to to be sure I have an accurate and uh, and uh, cut although you can do this without uh, necessarily marking it but just for the purpose of perfection and accuracy you may want to do this so I'm going to repeat the same process here I place my marker on the main a mark and then from there I take half inch on my right and then another half inch on my left now that we have marked our our dimension we are going to use our craft knife to cut we make a deep impression on it to cut through you may need to go twice because of the thickness of the board to make sure you get to, to get an accurate cut. So that is out. I'm going twice through it twice so that I get some accurate cut. You know, initially I had told you that one side is longer than the other, okay? So this side is um, 25 points, 25 and a half, while one side is 21 and a half. So you may need to understand this so that when you're working on a wider board or on a wider surface, you know which uh, dimension to cut from. If I'm working on a 14 inch board or a board that is bigger than 10, I'll go this way. I use the longer side that is 25 and a half. But if my board is say size 10, I use the shorter part so that my joining is not too, um, so that I, I you know, the, the size of, the whole size of, of this may not go round even an eight inch board. So you will definitely have to join it somewhere, okay? If you're working on a big board, you may just have to, say 14 inch, 
you may have like two joining of the long side so for my kind of um, board which is size 10 i'll need to work with the side that is 21 and a half which is this side and i want to make a box of um, it's a 10 inch okay 10 inch box let's see what inch is this this is 10 no this is this is eight this is eight eight inch tall so i i want to do a box of um, a 10 inch high so i'm going to place my tape and mark take 10 inch now this is 10 inch from here to here is 10 inch so i i will just need to mark using my pencil you want to do this so that you don't uh, have um, irregular edges so you need to mark mark now that we have marked our acetate box i will use a rule this is a letter rule i'll place it on where i have my 10 and then i'll move from one end to the other you need to put pressure on it so that you can see your marks clearly can you see the line now running through from one end to the other so now that i have marked the next thing i want to do is to cut through i'll need to do two of this okay i have to make two of these sizes because one of these which is 21 and a half will not be able to go round my board my board so so we have our two sheets 10 10 inch cut out okay we are going to join it neatly on one side using our acetate i mean our candy gum so i'm going to join it this way so we have our we are going to join it from this side okay and we are using our candy gum so at this point you have to be extremely careful and make sure you have a neat finishing so i'm just going to boom, gently nicely and neatly just a drop is fine and you need to put this on five or four places i'm doing five right now it's transparent so you may not see clearly so i'm going to make sure it's co nicely connected and then i'll place press it down you know why you may need to use this the candle gum is transparent so with that you will not see it um, easily on your acetate it, it, it kind of blends with your acetate so that's why it's preferable you can see we have neatly joined it and then we have a long sheet that can go around even a 14 inch board what i'm going to do is to check the circumference of our box we'll just have to go around to check this may not be so easy but gently you can do this gently you take your tape around it get to the end okay this is a um, this whole box board is 32 inch round 32 inches round so i'm going to add half inch extra so i'm going to cut my acetate at 32 and a half inches okay you remember always remember to add that extra allowance you don't want to struggle with your acetate box you want it to fit in easily so i'm going to measure 
the whole length of our loop and um, circumference of our board is 32 so we are going to take 32 on our box this is 32 and a half two and a half i'm going to mark at this point and then i'll place and i'll going to cut on our line gluing and um, joining our box and uh, as I take together we are going to take it round to see if we didn't make a mistake this is perfect you can see it fits in nicely and perfectly and we still have extra extra space can you see that you see the half inch that is added okay can you see that so i'm going to glue at this point the same way we did we joined the other side is the same process we're going to use to join this part too you have to ensure it is neat you don't want a tacky finishing so you have to be extremely careful when you're applying this you bring the side to meet with this point bear in mind that you just added extra half inches so anything above that may not fit in don't eat don't take at any allowance that we didn't make provision for we made provision for this and that's why we are so let's check you can see that it's just fit in without any struggle so our box is ready the next thing we are going to do is to create the cover remember we have cut out a our board for the cover now we're going to finish it up and the next